Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and our Simple Abundance Year with Sarah Von Braunick's book, Simple Abundance. Normally I'm going through her 2019 revised edition, but today I'm going to pull from her older version of Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy, written back in the late 90s. And some of the entries in here also have to do with the topic of success, which we started talking about on the last video. So I really thought there was a lot to say about them. So I'm continuing the talk with some of these older entries. First one is called the fear of success. What do you guys think of when you think of the fear of success? Does that really hit home with you? I mean, we talked about it could be all the same reasons that you're kind of like uncomfortable when you succeed and then you kind of downplay it with other people, right? We talked about that last time, but the fear of success, there could be so many reasons why you may have a fear. Like what if, what if I mess up my marriage or what if I can't be a mom as well as I want to be because I'm going to be off traveling and giving lectures or whatever the success is or... I guess when I, I mean, I don't, I never wanted to be a celebrity, but like if I would, I would have a fear if I became famous like that and then I had to live with the paparazzi and everything, but I don't want to be famous like that anyway, so I don't really have like a real fear, but I suppose sometimes you can become famous for bad reasons with things that get videotaped, you know, nowadays, you never know. You hope you don't turn up on the news and then people are sending you hate mail. That wouldn't necessarily be success. That would be failure and we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's see what Sarah says. Many women fear success much more than failure. Hmm. Can you relate to that? Failure we can handle because failure feels familiar. But success means we must leave our comfort zones, the well-padded perimeter of predictability. Whether or not we like to admit it, a woman's success is secondary to her relationships. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think that's a dated statement? That might be why she took this one out of the new book. But I do feel like uh, even though we do live in a more modern world now, there is a lot to a woman's role in terms of being a wife and a mother and so I can see what she's saying. So, We fear success because we fear the impact it will have and it most admittedly will not only on our own lives but on the lives of those we love. So I mentioned, you know, like if you're married, it could be that you just would wonder if he might resent your success, he or she I should say. And, uh, you know, it could be something to do with, uh, you know, that the success, she says, comes with personal indulgences and it could, I don't know, it could irritate your, your spouse or your partner. And then she also makes a good point if you're single and she says, especially if you've reached a certain age in your life and a certain level of success, then you worry more about meeting a a partner who won't be intimidated by your achievements or your income if you do it really well, right? Yeah. And then I mentioned about if you have children and you might feel or fear that, you know, maybe your spouse is going to have to take on more of a role in parenting and while well, you're off doing your successful things. I don't know. I guess I can see see all those things she's saying. So she goes on to say, so we fear success with good reason. We've got a lot at stake. Success brings change and change is uncomfortable. But by attempting to achieve one challenge at a time, we redefine success for ourselves and those we love. And we become more comfortable with our accomplishments. We learn that success doesn't have to pull, tug, or chafe if we wear our real size. That's neat, right? In terms of clothing. Yeah, so the more comfortable we come become with the success, then it, it feels like it fits better when we start to accept it. But, you know, she's not wrong in saying that anything like that, that could like skyrocket you to fame or something like that, it could definitely change your life and your relationships. So I mentioned failure. 
The next one is called the gift of failure. So we talked about loss recently and the lessons from loss. So similar concept in seeing the positive of failure. What comes to your mind when you think about that? I guess when I think about that, I think maybe if you fail, then, well, hopefully you keep getting back up again and you can be, you can have perseverance and keep trying. Maybe you, maybe by failing, you see what's not working and it points you more towards the success of what is going to work. I don't know. Each one of us is terrified of failing, Sarah says. But whether we risk it all or play it safe, we cannot avoid failure. And then there's a quote here from two authors, Carol Hyatt and Linda Gottlieb. They wrote a book called When Smart People Fail, Rebuilding Yourself for Success. And they said, real strength comes from knowing we can survive. Remember we talked about courage recently? That, that is coming to my mind as far as tying in with this. So you may have the fear, but if you learn courage from that fear, then that's the plus, right? And you may have failure, but if you, if you learn to persevere and you learn to survive, then that is the positive, right? From failure, yeah. Failure stretches us beyond our conscious capacity so that we can grow into our authentic selves. Hmm. This is failure's generous gift. In life, the worst thing that can happen isn't failing. It's never having tried. Yeah. Right. That is true. I think at the end of your life, if you sat and thought about what your regrets might be in your life, I think you'd have more regrets about not trying things or doing the things that you wanted to do than you would about potentially trying things and failing. I have, I have a strange feeling about the word failure because even though I've shared with you guys that I've done a lot of things and things haven't always worked out, I don't feel like a failure. I guess I see the gift of failure as everything is a learning experience, right? And you know, I will say that if you want to consider that I, a couple of things I've done have quote unquote failed, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but over my lifespan, I have changed the way I fail. I'm a little smarter about it. So I don't allow catastrophe to happen in most cases. Like I can sense that a failure is coming, I guess. I don't know, that would be the difference. So I make it a little less of a fall. I have a kitty talking to us. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the gift of failure and maybe the fear of success too. Are those things that you can relate to? I think that's a pretty common thing. There are a bunch of other really great entries from the older book that I'm gonna be bringing into discussions in the coming week because while she has added some nice entries to the new book, these are uh, definitely entries that I feel maybe a little more affinity with and just more to say about them. So stay tuned, there'll be much more to come. Always appreciate your comments, thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like too because the more engagement a video gets, the more it's shared with other people on YouTube and it's fun to get the message out there. And Sometimes I get comments from people that have just some stumbled upon a certain video and it's just great to connect. So thank you so much for everything you're doing and your support and love you all. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.